Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are going to understand about AWS KMS Envelope Encryption. We are also going to have a demo as well. So imagine that you have a big data file that you want to encrypt with AWS Customer Managed Key that you have. Now AWS KMS has a limit of 4 KB file size for encryption as well as decryption. Now in this case you use what is called as KMS Envelope Encryption. How does it work? Well, uh, what you do is you ask AWS um, to generate a data key using your customer managed key. Um, you, when you do that, you get uh, a plain text data key as well as an encrypted data key. Now this is by default. Now what you do is you use the plain text data key to encrypt your data. And now you have the encrypted data file or data, right? Now in addition to that, uh, along with that data, you also store your encrypted data key that you received from AWS KMS. Now, at this point, you have your encrypted data as well as the encrypted data key. Now, you can delete your original file. Um, you don't need it anymore, right? Now, you want to get the original contents of the file, which is to say you want to decrypt the data file. So, how do you go about that? Now, what you do is basically you use the encrypted data key and you send it over uh, to AWS KMS uh, and you ask uh, it to be decrypted. So if you have the right permissions um, to the key, you'll get your plain text data key back. Now using that plain text data key, now you're going to decrypt your object or decrypt the encrypted data file to get the plain text or the original data file back, which could be um, you know gigabytes or hundreds of gigabytes so this is how you can work around uh, and it is not really a workaround uh, sending a really big file to KMS for encryption and getting it back wouldn't have been a great user experience anyways so this is how encryption or the envelope encryption works now let's look at my setup today and then we are going to jump into the demo now I have logged into my AWS console and I have a symmetric key created uh, you can also go ahead and create a key, but I'm going to use uh, this particular key, right? So what I've done is I've used all the default options. So symmetric, then I go ahead and, uh, you know, same key, something like that. And uh, next, and I'm going to keep everything uh, the same. I'm going to use my administrator user uh, to uh, from the CLI. Uh, so I'm not going to give any explicit key administrators or uh, key users here and next uh, eventually do the key policy so that's it and then if I finish I get a key right so I'm not gonna do that because I already have a key created so that's one another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the AWS CLI um, and that is configured on my laptop uh, however, I'm using the git bash uh, to actually execute all these commands because some of those commands require certain <clears throat> utilities that did not come uh, bundled with my Windows installation. You can of course run all that I'm running here on a Mac directly or you can also run it uh, on a Linux machine or an EC2 instance wherever you want to. So yeah, uh, those are uh, basically the setup steps having a key as well as uh, I'm running this in git bash uh, but you could always run it in Linux or a Mac machine as well or go ahead and get a git bash uh, for you so you can search uh, for git bash and get it installed uh, from the internet all right so I have uh, also created a folder right now uh, for our demo today now in this folder currently uh, there is just one file uh, this is called as a secret file uh, which is really not that secret it is just uh, lorem ipsum um, and uh, it's generated many many times that's pretty much what that is now let's first see uh, whether um, this file which is about 8 uh, 8k size uh, can we encrypt this file using uh, uh, using KMS or not right so let's uh, go ahead and try to do that uh, so I'm gonna say AWS KMS encrypt encrypt I'm gonna say plain text um, is it minus plain text yeah and I'm gonna say file and uh, let's say secret file and all I have to give after this is key ID I think it is minus minus plain text and let's look at my key ID which is here paste oh sorry oh 
All right. So this is my key ID, right? So enter. Now notice that it says an error occurred when calling the encrypt operation, and it says um, it failed to satisfy the con constraint, which is member uh, must have length less than or equal to 4096, which is basically 4 KB, right? Um, that's basically uh, the problem uh, you're gonna have with the larger files as we explained in the presentation as well. So now um, we want to do the enveloping, right? So first step, as we said, we want to generate uh, the key pair, uh, or we want to generate the data keys. So I've also given all this instruction at the end of, uh, uh, or I've given um, a link at the end of this video, uh, which should take you to a blog and which has all these instructions as uh, well. So let's go ahead and generate a key pair. So now AWS KMS generate data key, key ID remains the same. And I'm saying that uh, I want to uh, use AES-256 uh, uh, for my uh, encryption as well as my key specification. So notice that now I got a plain text as well as a ciphertext blob. So plain text is basically a plain text data key that I got, right? And this is the encrypted uh, key, right? Now, next thing I want to do is I want to encrypt uh, this file, this secret file or TXT uh, using this plain text uh, key that I received. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so the command for that uh, is here. In fact, uh, before we did that, uh, we know that the output that is uh, provided by um, KMS uh, is um, base64 encoded. Uh, so because we are going to store uh, the encrypted data key, uh, we want to store it in a binary format because uh, whenever we are going to make the decrypt call uh, for uh, this cyber, uh, for this encrypted data key, uh, the file needs to be in, the, in its binary format. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, really quickly uh, store our encrypted data key in a binary format. So I'm going to say base64 minus ti uh, and I'll just show you how it looks. So notice that this is uh, the key in the binary format. It is unprintable. Um, the whole reason why AWS sends it back into a base64 format so that it can be readable or human readable as well as printable. All right, so let's go ahead and send this into a file. So I'm gonna call this uh, encrypted data key dot binary. So there you go. So whatever this content was, now it's in this particular file. I can also show you that, enc, there you go, right? It's the same content. Now, let's get to finally uh, encrypting our secret file. So until now, all we have done is we have received a couple of, or rather a data key in its plain text as well as in its uh, ciphertext format or encrypted format. Uh, next up, what we are going to do is we are actually or next up what we did was we actually stored uh, the encrypted uh, key in its binary format. Now what we want to do is we want to take the plain text key and actually encrypt our uh, secret file. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. All right. Uh, so let's copy the next command. And now it requires a password or the key uh, and I'm using the OpenSSL command. Um, so let's get our plain text key which is from here and there we go and let me enter so now if I did ls minus ltr notice that we have two files uh, one is basically uh, the secret file which is the plain text file so if I cat that file uh, maybe yeah uh, just uh, head Let's look at head minus uh, five of uh, secret file dot txt. Right, so we have uh, noticed that we have some data here, and same thing if I did head minus one for this file. So notice that this is all encrypted file. Right, we can also look at file uh, command. Sorry, control C, file and encrypted secret file. And notice that it says uh, it's an encrypted open SSL encrypted data with salted password, right? So at this point in time, we have done half of the work. Basically, what we have created now uh, is uh, we have uh, the original secret file, which uh, we can actually go ahead and delete. Uh, we don't really need that. Uh, we have the encrypted uh, data key in its binary format, and we have the encrypted secret file here, right? So 
next up what we want to do is we uh, want to actually decrypt the file back so uh, into its original format uh, so how do we do that right so now what we want to do uh, is we want to give this encrypted data key uh, back to AWS and get the plain text uh, data key back right and using that plain text data key then we want to encrypt our or we want to decrypt our encrypted secret file so let's go ahead and really quickly do that um, so let me yeah, so let's uh, go ahead and run the command so now notice that <clears throat> what we have done is we have just made the AWS KMS decrypt call and uh, we have given the encrypted data key to be the input right and we got back our plain text key right now with AWS KMS uh, with symmetric key encryption we don't ever have to actually provide uh, the um, the original key that was used for encryption right um, you just have to provide the uh, encrypted entity or encrypted data and uh, KMS is able to figure out uh, from uh, using which CMK it was encrypted and you get back uh, the decrypted uh, information if you have the right permissions in this case I do because I'm using an administrator user all right so we have now the plain text data key right now what we want to do is using this key uh, we want to decrypt this file back to our original format now we could have deleted the secret file but we have kept it so that we can compare uh, the decrypted information back uh, to um, uh, uh, with our uh, original file all right so let's go ahead and run the decryption command so there you go and let's use the password from here which is basically the plain text data key and enter so that command is executed successfully now what we have done here is we have said okay Hey, open SSL, decrypt uh, our file using this minus D operation or minus D flag um, in uh, the encrypted secret file back into um, the decrypted secret file as opposed to just the secret file. So now ideally we should have uh, four files. This is the original secret file. This is the encrypted secret file. This is the decrypted secret file. And uh, this is our encrypted data key as is, right? So let's uh, do a diff and compare the secret file against the decrypted secret file so notice that there is no difference and we can also do head minus one just to print the first line of the secret file and do the same on the decrypted secret file all right so notice that uh, using aws envelope uh, or AWS KMS envelope encryption we were able to actually uh, get a data key in its plain text as well as the encrypted text format uh, then using the plain text we were able to encrypt our data then uh, after that using the encrypted data key we were able to get back the plain text uh, password or plain text key uh, and using that we were able to decrypt uh, our data back to its original format so that's basically AWS KMS uh, envelope encryption uh, you know make sure that uh, if you have any questions put them down in the comments and uh, I've also given the link uh, to the blog which has all the instructions that are mentioned here as well as uh, some um, uh, some information about uh, uh, enveloping why it is required and how it is carried out uh, in the blog that is part of uh, or that is uh, mentioned in the link under this video alright thank you very much bye